Today we will be discussing the topic of complex traits. First, we are going to start by defining some key terms. Complex traits are those that are influenced by more than one factor. The factors can be gen genetic or environmental. Exaptions are traits that are originally selected for one function, but later changed to serve a different, selectively advantageous function. Uh, exaptations are very important in the evolution of complex traits. Because evolution works without foresight, gross morphological structures rarely arise de novo, but instead derive modifications to previously existing structures. Darwin was aware of exaptations in the origin, in, on the origin of the species, even though the term was not introduced until 1982. Adaptations refer to an, an inherited trait that makes an organism more fit in its abiotic and biotic environment as a result of a, directly act, of a direct action of natural selection for its primary function. To be an adaptation, a trait or feature must, be, must have been shaped by natural selection. For example, coat color in oil-filled mice is an adaptation. There are two possible explanations for evolution of complex traits. First explanation centers on the idea that each intermediate step towards the evolution of complex traits was itself adaptive and served a function similar to the modern day function. The second explanation posits that intermediate stages of complex traits were functional and selected, but they did not serve the same function in the past as they do today. Although there are two explanations for evolution of complex traits, we are going to be concentrating on the second by supporting it with various examples. Example one is with the evolution of feathers. Because feathers play such a prominent role in bird flight and because they seem so exquisitely adapted to function, we may be tempted to assume that feathers have always been selected only in relation to their effect on flight. But are feathers an adaptation or an exaptation? Since paleontological discoveries revealed feather-like structures in bipedal dinosaurs which did not fly or use these structures as flight, we can assume that the origin of feathers predates evolution of wings in flight, thus is an exaptation. Researchers have proposed a number of possibilities for the original function of feathers, some of which include heat retention, shielding from sunlight, signaling, defense, and waterproofing. The lock and key mechanism showed how receptors evolved to accept a signal that does not yet exist. Ancestral receptor binds not only to cortisol but also aldosterone, even though aldosterone evolved much later. A pair of mutations altered the now glucocorticoid receptor to retain its ability to bind to cortisol but not aldosterone. Genetic changes in biosynthetic pathways eventually led to the production of aldosterone over millions of years. Because aldosterone could not trigger the M receptor without interfering with the glucocorticoid receptor, there was a new signal receptor pair that could be used independently to regulate other cellular processes. The ability of a receptor to bind um, aldosterone preceded the evolution of aldosterone itself. These two examples showed that complex traits have intermediate stages that are both functional and selected, but did not serve the same function in the past as they do today. Some opposers of evolution say that some traits are irreducibly complex. In other words, could not have evolved through small changes. However, biologists show that this is not true. And we hope you learn that is the case as well.